Published, 527 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 28th of March 2018. Updated, 911 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 28th of March 2018. Celebrities including Roy Chubby Brown, Ricky Tomlinson and Les Dennis joined hundreds of fans paying their final respects to comedian Sir Ken Dodd as his funeral was held today. Fans lined the streets of Liverpool ahead of the Thanksgiving service at the city's Anglican Cathedral, which was also attended by Coronation Street actress Stephanie Cole and former ITV chief Lord Michael Grade. A horse-drawn hearse, a nod to his father's job as a coal merchant, led the funeral cortege from his home in Naughty Ash along East Prescott Road from 11 a.m., and residents and visitors were encouraged to line the route. The much-loved comedian, aged 90, died at his home in eastern Liverpool earlier this month. His funeral service will be open to the public, with a large screen broadcasting the ceremony for mourners outside the cathedral. Also among those attending the funeral were game show host Tom O'Connor, comedian Stan Boardman, Brookside actress Claire Sweeney, comedian Jimmy Tarbuck and Harry Potter star Miriam Margulies. Sir Ken Dodd's coffin arrived at Liverpool Cathedral today in a horse and cart, with a mini floral Ken Dodd attached to the end. The coffin is carried in during the funeral service of Sir Ken Dodd at Liverpool Anglican Cathedral this afternoon. Mourners sit in front of a photograph of Sir Ken during his funeral service in Liverpool this afternoon. Crowds gather outside the cathedral in the sunshine today to watch the funeral service of Sir Ken on a big screen. Members of the crowd hold tickle sticks as they gather to watch Sir Ken's funeral outside the cathedral in Liverpool today. Paul Bearers carry Sir Ken's coffin into Liverpool. Pool Anglican Cathedral for his funeral. He died aged 90 on March 11. Comedy legend Sir Ken's career stretched over seven decades and he was famous for his jokes and singing voice. The coffin is carried in during the funeral service for Sir Ken at the cathedral following his death earlier this month. Sir Ken's coffin was carried through the cathedral to the sound of intermezzo. Cavalaria Rusticana Pietro Miscagnier Women holds an order of service as she follows Sir Ken's funeral at Liverpool Cathedral this afternoon. Sir Ken left died at his home in Naughty Ash earlier this month. The program for his funeral this afternoon is pictured right. Sir Ken's coffin arrived at the cathedral in a horse and cart, with a mini floral Ken Dodd attached to the end of it, to applause from bystanders. Cadets lined the drive while the Red Rose concert band played. A funeral car containing floral tributes and family members followed, and, as Sir Ken's coffin waited outside the cathedral, the band broke into a version of happiness. His coffin was carried through the cathedral to the sound of the intermezzo, from Cavalaria Rusticana by Pietro Mascagni, followed by family members and members of the church. Outside the cathedral, hundreds of people watched on a big screen, many holding tickle sticks and applauding. Ken Miles Davies, acting dean of Liverpool, described Sir Ken as a one of the great sons, a freeman of this city. Lord Grade told how he first saw Sir Ken as a fan in the 1960s, saying, My memories of him are just laughing. I went to see him because I loved comedy and had heard about him before we started working together, I can still feel the pain in my sides from laughing. I would just see him and start laughing. I just want to thank him for a lifetime of laughter, royal family actor Tomlinson added, he was a one-off. There will never be another Ken Dodd, who can stand for four or five hours without repeating a single line and having all that life and joy. He was phenomenal. Lady Anne, the widow of Sir Ken Dodd, leaves their home in Naughty Ash ahead of his funeral at Liverpool Cathedral today. A cadet salutes as the cortege carrying the coffin of Sir Ken arrives at Liverpool Anglican Cathedral this afternoon as Sir Ken's coffin waited outside the cathedral. The band broke into a version of happiness. Coronation Street actress Stephanie Cole speaks during the funeral service of Sir Ken at Liverpool Anglican Cathedral today. A huge crowd gathers to watch Sir Ken's funeral on the big screen outside Liverpool Cathedral this afternoon. The funeral cortege carries the coffin after the much-loved comedian, aged 90, died earlier this month. That's why they're lining the streets of Liverpool to say goodbye. He loves the people of Liverpool and they loved him. Let's hope his legend lives on. I challenge any of the young comedians today to do four or five hours like Dottie did. Coronation Street actress Cole also paid tribute to Sir Ken, describing him as a genius. She said, he was a genius and a very kind man, always more interested in other people other than himself, he was an extraordinarily well-read man. He gave us all the most enormous amount of joy, Boardman said, he was a Liverpool man. He stayed in Liverpool, was born in Liverpool and died in Liverpool. And, he was, respected by everyone in Liverpool, not just as a comedian but as a man. He was a great fella. Speaking outside the cathedral, comedian Roy Chubby Brown said, I've been all over the world in my 50 years and I don't know anyone who didn't admire Ken Dodd. XITV chief Lord Michael Grade, left, and Brookside actress Claire Sweeney, left and right photo, were at the cathedral today. Ricky Tomlinson, left, arrives ahead of the funeral. 
He said that Sir Ken loves the people of Liverpool and they love team comedians Roy Chubby Brown, left real name Royston Bessey, and Jimmy Tarbuck Wright, arrive at Liverpool Cathedral's Dennis arrives with his wife Claire Nicholson, left, as crowds of mourners gather outside the cathedral, right, fans are lining the streets of Liverpool to pay their final respects to comedian Sir Ken this morning game show host and comedian Tom O'Connor, left, and former Liverpool footballer Sammy Lee, right, arrive for the service Coronation Street actress Stephanie Cole, left, and Harry Potter star Miriam Margulies, right, arrived for the funeral today. Three women hold the red, white and blue sticks which were made famous by the much-loved comedian Everybody Loved Ken and when I used to say, oh he talks to me on the phone and he's a friend, I was more popular than ever, I can still feel the pain in my sides from laughing. I would just see him and start laughing. I just want to thank him for a lifetime of laughter Lord Michael Grade was a one-off. There will never be another Ken Dodd can stand for four or five hours without repeating a single line and having all that life and joy. He was phenomenal Ricky Tomlinson was a genius and a very kind man, always more interested in other people other than himself Stephanie Cole knew it all, he was a master. We all enjoyed him on radio and television, but to see those live shows, and to see him in full throttle, we will never see the likes again Himmy Cricket and Tarbuck added, he was the greatest stage comic I've ever seen. I mean, at the Palladium, he did three seasons there and it was glorious, he never got giggle laughter, never little titters, there were roars of laughter like you've never heard. I've never seen anybody get laughs like him, flags at Liverpool Town Hall, St George's Hall, Canard Building and Central Library have been lowered for the day as a mark of respect, one fan joked she expected the funeral to go on until midnight, a reference to Sir Ken's legendary shows that often went into the early hours of the morning. Gillian Prince, 54, recalled going to one of his shows in Southport about 10 years ago. She said, We expect the funeral will go on until midnight, we didn't get out until 1am when we went to see him. He was so funny. He walked on stage and said, It's like looking at outpatients, he brought a lot of joy. We wanted to come and pay tribute. He's been there throughout our childhood. While we were growing up he was always there, Thomas Ryan, 74, and Dorothy Ryan, 71, saw him at Bolton Town Hall 18 months ago. Mr. Ryan said, the show went on until 2 a.m. He offered to give us a lift home. He asked if there were any Scousers in the audience and I put my hand up and he said he'd give us a lift, I never liked him that much until I saw him on stage. He was so funny, we wanted to come and pay tribute. There's no one like Ken Dodd, two women smile as they gather with crowds to watch Sir Ken's funeral as it is televised on a large screen in Liverpool today crowds of people shield their eyes from the sun as they watch the service outside Liverpool Anglican Cathedral today the cortege arrives before the funeral service of comedian Sir Ken takes place at Liverpool Anglican Cathedral the funeral cortege carries Sir Ken's coffin from his home in Naughty Ash, Liverpool, ahead of his funeral today a horse-drawn hearse, a nod to his father's job as a coal merchant, led the funeral cortege from East Prescott Road at 11 a.m. Gregor G., a fan of Sir Ken, arrives ahead of the comedian's funeral service at Liverpool Anglican Cathedral today. Tickle sticks are tied to the approach to Liverpool Cathedral ahead of the comedian Sir Ken Dodd's funeral today. A horse-drawn hearse, a nod to his father's job as a coal merchant, will lead the funeral cortege in Liverpool today. A young boy holds a tickle stick today as people pay their respects outside the home of Sir Ken in Naughty Ash, Liverpool. A Ken Dodd fan's dog Princess Cleopatra arrives for the funeral of the comedian in Liverpool today. Tickle sticks are tied to the approach to Liverpool Cathedral this morning ahead of the funeral for comedian Sir Ken Dodd floral tributes outside the home of Sir Ken in Naughty Ash, Liverpool, where the much-loved comedian died earlier this month floral tributes line the street outside the home of Sir Ken in Naughty Ash, ahead of his funeral at Liverpool Cathedral today Lord Mayor of Liverpool, Councillor Malcolm Kennedy, said, although Wednesday will be a somber occasion, it is an opportunity for us all to pay tribute to an unforgettable man and I can think of nothing more fitting than huge crowds lining the streets for his final act, there will never be another comedian like Ken, his passing marks the end of an era in British entertainment and I'm sure he'll be tickled that the city will be putting on such a show in his honor, the funeral service will be followed by a private interment. Tickle sticks are appearing across Liverpool as the city prepares to say a final farewell to Sir Ken, the props were made famous by the much-loved comedian, and have been placed on landmarks ahead of his funeral. Tickle sticks are placed outside the home of Sir Ken in Naughty Ash, ahead of his funeral at Liverpool Cathedral today. Wirral Globe journalist Peter Grant arrives for the funeral. 
He has written an emotional obituary to his close friend Sir Ken Wellwishers told how Sir Ken had affected and infected us all with your unique brand of creative humor. Hundreds of flowers have been left outside Sir Ken's home this morning as his funeral takes place in Liverpool. A tickle stick is in place ahead of the funeral service of Sir Ken at Liverpool's Anglican Cathedral today. Some fans thanked Sir Ken for making us laugh in one of many tributes outside the late comedian's home in Naughty Ash. Sir Ken has been praised in one of the many tributes outside his home in Naughty Ash as Liverpool's best comedian, final preparations are made to the funeral cortege for Sir Ken ahead of his funeral at Liverpool Cathedral today fans are expected to line the streets of Liverpool to pay their final respects to comedian Sir Ken a statue of Sir Ken has been returned to Liverpool Lime Street train station for the day after it was removed temporarily 12 of the red, white and blue sticks have been placed on Liverpool Town Hall, with others adorning a statue of the Beatles on the Pierhead, the Queen Victoria Monument on Derby Square, the Canard Building and the Mersey Ferry. A statue of Sir Ken has been returned to Liverpool Lime Street train station for the day after it was removed temporarily for building work to be carried out. Earlier today, his fellow comedian Jimmy Cricket told ITV's Good Morning Britain, he knew it all, he was a master, when you bought a ticket, I mean we all enjoyed him on radio and television television, but to see those live shows, and to see him in full throttle, we will never see the likes again. Cricket, who said Sir Ken was a special person, also told how the comedian would talk about the rainbow of laughter, including white for children, yellow for visual, red for love and darker colors for cynicism.